we're talking with Russ Kammerer, the designer and builder of Kettlewell Resonant Covers. Russ, as we look at your design, the covers themselves extend out past the end of the comb at the back end where the sound comes out by about half an inch. And in addition to having kind of an overall curvature left to right, on the length of the harmonica at the back of the cover, it also has a, a lip that you that touches your fingers. Talk with me a little bit about that design. Sure, just uh, followed your advice on what I'm calling a Nerf bar out there. We, we kind of coined it a Nerf bar. Something that's uh, kind of rounded out on the edge. You have a curve that's going upward but you also have a curve that's going outward slightly past the overhang. And so this creates a nice, uh, soft feel for your hands to land on. And conversely, another, another advantage I found was when you're not playing the harmonica, you can set it down on the edge of its comb, mouthpiece up, and the protrusion of the covers lifts the comb up and off wherever you set the harmonica down. And it allows air to pass through this thing and it helps to keep the thing a little drier. And so if you set it down for a while, it has a chance to breathe out where normally you're putting them back in a box or the covers are constricted enough to where the moisture is trapped inside the harmonica, whatever amount there may be. And so I found that to be kind of a, a nice advantage overall. But to do further discussion, we were talking about some of the <clears throat> some of the covers that were designed earlier on were rather angular and sharp, particularly out on the ends. Some of them were sharp enough to actually uh, cause you uh, some harm if you weren't careful about them. And, uh, and they were a great place to collect a book too, by the way, with some of the folded over corners of the covers. And so uh, having, having been printed now, uh, these things are all smoothed out. You're transitioning from a rather flat surface at the mouthpiece and developing a slow arch, a curvature uh, that ends up out at the end where your hands are holding on to this thing. And so it creates a nice big, uh, what we're calling a Nerf bar or a coping, I guess. It look, kind of looks like a coping on some of these things where you have this ridge running along on the outside. Very nice, comfortable handle uh, to hold on to. Yeah. This is Vinny. Uh... We do sound tests. <clears throat> Let's proceed with the Bolatini wireless mic from Greg Weinman. We'll go ahead and do the Gregor Marai first. Seidel Saxony Orchestra Tuning. 